today uh, vlogging from my bedroom actually and um, quarantined actually in this room uh, at this time so that I'm not a danger to any other of my uh, family members. Uh, fortunately, so far, no one else is infected with yes, COVID-19. And so on Tuesday, I was feeling like a scratchy throat. I felt that I've had scratchy throats before. Sometimes I get that. Uh, but then it just wasn't feeling better uh, Wednesday morning and it just was getting worse. I thought, you know, I'll just take a COVID test. And yes, uh, it was like a definite positive. Uh, and so, yeah, from there, it just got worse and hit like a hammer. I felt like body aches, like really, really painful body aches, um, fever that just wouldn't go away for like three days. Um, cold sweats, uh, sore throat, uh, coughing, but then you don't want to cough because your, your throat hurts so bad, uh, fatigue, uh, I found myself just in and out of sleep. In fact, it kind of reminded me a little bit of, you know, when I went to surgery a couple of years ago, when I had to, um, when I was coming in and out of consciousness after re recovering from surgery, it actually kind of reminded me of that, like that kind of fatigue and disorientation and confusion. Um, and then uh, here we are, Saturday morning, and I'm feeling so much better. So I took another COVID test and still <laughs> positive. <laughs> so uh, still continuing to quarantine myself, um, but um, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm definitely feeling a lot better and sometimes when I'm when I get flat on my back like this you know I just feel like that's an opportunity to ask myself like is there something that I need to be thinking about uh, I, I think I mentioned that before uh, when I was sent to urgent care and then went to the emergency room and then there you are in the back looking at the stretcher looking up at the ceiling uh, and, and you're just asking yourself is there something I need to be thinking about right now you know I think that that's always a good question to ask I think because you know um, one day we could feel like super strong like as I was feeling right and then the next day you could be flat on your back you know uh, as I was and I know in my situation even though it wasn't an easy couple of days for me I know it's been so much tougher for so many families out there and it actually gave me the experience gave me a lot of uh, more empathy, even though I, I know I, don't, I don't, didn't experience the same thing as so many so many families. But uh, I, I do remember as a teacher, um, when, when I would hear my students sharing how that they had COVID or their family members had COVID or... I think uh, another takeaway, another lesson I'm learning from this experience is just a, a real appreciation for the people that I care about deeply. Um, I actually was really thinking about my wife and just really appreciating her and her care uh, over me uh, and actually her manning the fort and just taking care of our entire family really all that she needs to do and in addition to that her full-time work uh, I just felt so much appreciation uh, to her as well so what are some of my takeaways from this experience so far well I think the first is just gratitude I think when one day you're like walking and the next day you're like down and can't do so many things, right? You realize like, man, there's so many things that I take for granted. There's so many things that I'm not thankful for. There's so many things I don't take the time to have gratitude over. There's so many things I do complain over though, right? Uh, so to have more gratitude. Um, another is appreciation. Uh, just uh, there's so many folks out there where... You know, they're doing so much for you. They care for you. They're a friend. They're a good colleague. And, you know, you don't have to wait like five, ten years to say, hey, I appreciate you. When you appreciate somebody, you could just tell them, hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> and just let them know, like, right then and there, right? And then third is that empathy. Uh, and um, although, of course, there's no way I'm going to fully understand everyone's situation. Uh, but just kind of being there. Uh, in my, my situation and thinking, man, if I were in a situation where um, I, just, I was stressing out about finances while I was trying to recover, uh, as I know, there's so many Americans out there that probably do feel that, um, how stressful that would be. 
how difficult that would be. And so uh, it made me feel that empathy for others uh, in that space.